Hi, I'm Christy. Hey, Christy. I'm Kelly. I'll be your examiner today. Okay. Welcome to the Patient Assessment Management Trauma Skill. In this skill, you'll have 10 minutes to perform your assessment and voice treat all conditions and injuries discovered. You should conduct your assessment as you would in the field, including communicating with your simulated patient. You may remove the simulated patient's clothing down to his or her shorts or swimsuit if you feel it is necessary. As you progress through this skill, you should state everything you are assessing. Specific clinical information not obtainable by visual or physical inspection, for example, blood pressure, will be given to you only when you ask following the demonstration of how you would normally obtain that information in the field. You may assume that you have two partners working with you who are trained to your level of care. They will correctly perform the verbal treatments you indicate necessary. I will acknowledge your treatments and may ask for additional information if clarification is needed. Do you have any questions? I don't. You are called for a 30-year-old male who is ejected from a motor vehicle. You find your patient lying supine 20 feet from the vehicle. Okay, ESI, is the scene safe? It is. I've got one patient. My mechanism of injury is ejection from a vehicle. Uh, I am going to call additional help, 911 and ALS, and I am going to have somebody hold C-spine based on his mechanism of injury. My general impression is a 25-year-old-ish male laying on the ground. He appears to be unresponsive. Sir, sir, are you awake? Can you hear me? He doesn't respond. Okay, I'm going to do a sternal rub. Okay, he moans and groans to a sternal rub, so he is responsive to painful stimuli. Um, do I see any apparent life threats? None at this time. Okay, and he doesn't have a chief complaint. I'm going to move on to A for airway. I'm going to have a person holding C-spine open his airway with a jaw thrust. Um, as your patient's airway is open, your patient vomits. Okay, I'm going to suction the vomit for no longer than 15 seconds, and I'm going to open the airway again, jaw thrust, is everything in your vomit, everything's okay? The airway is clear. Okay, I'm going to insert an oral airway and adjunct, does he accept that? He does. Okay, and move to B, I'm going to um, look, listen, and feel for his breathing, I need to know the rate and quality. Uh, you note that his breathing is about 28 breaths per minute and labored. Okay. Um, we're going to assist his breathing with a bag valve mask hooked up to 15 liters of oxygen. I'm going to breathe for him once every five seconds. I'm also going to listen to breath sounds mid clavicularly and mid axillary. Okay. Breath sounds are diminished on the patient's right side. Okay. I do note some bruising there too. Do I see any paradoxical motion? You do. Okay. I assume he's going to have, he has a flail chest, so I'm going to treat that right away with a bulky dressing over that flail segment on the right side. Um, I've got oxygen on him, so we're going to move to circulation. Does he have a radial pulse? A very weak, fast radial pulse. Okay, what's the rate? It's about 120. Okay. Um, he is very diaphoretic. I can see he's pale. I'm going to feel his skin. It's cool to the touch. Okay, so he's cool, pale, and clammy. He is going into shock. I'm going to treat that with the oxygen that I've already got on him. I'm also going to try to keep, them, keep him pretty warm. Do I see any bleeding on his body? Not at this time. Okay. Based on his GCS right now of four, he is a priority patient and we are going to transport right away. To get transport, I'm going to check the back of his neck to feel if I feel any crepitus. There's none noted. Okay, I'm going to put a C-collar on and we're going to roll him immediately. With my partner's help, we're going to roll him on the count of three. And we're going to roll. I'm going to check his back. Do I yes. feel anything on his back? There's nothing to know. Okay, I'd roll him back onto a backboard again with my partner's help keeping his spine in line and stable on a backboard. At this point, we are transporting, and is there anybody around that we can get a sample history from? There are no bystanders present. Okay, I'm gonna start at the head for my secondary assessment. I'm gonna check for DCAT BTLS, which is deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, and penetrations, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and swelling. So I'm gonna start at the head. Do I feel anything on the head and the skull? No. Okay, I do note that he has raccoon eyes. Um, I'll note that. Do I see any blood, fluids, CSF, anything coming out of his nose, ears, eyes, anything like that? No. Okay, I'm gonna feel the facial bones. Are they intact too? They are. Okay. I've got the neck taken care of in the back, but I'm gonna look through the front. Do I see any tracheal deviation or jugular vein distension? No. Okay. I'm gonna come up to the chest again. I'm gonna feel the clavicles, the shoulders area. I'm gonna feel it on the chest. Everything feels like okay so far? Very stable. Okay. I do have the bulky dressing here, so I'm gonna kind of feel around here. Feel down here. Does everything feel okay? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna listen to the breath sounds mid-clavicularly, mid-axillary. Okay. You know improvement. Okay. I'm gonna feel the abdomen. I'm gonna palpate the abdomen. Is everything soft and non-tender? It is. Okay. Check for decap vitalis in the pelvis. I'm going to push in and down in the pelvis. You notice some instability. Okay, I'm going to note that. I'm going to come to the legs, and I do note some bruising on both thighs on the legs. Do I feel any crepitus around that area? Uh, yes, you note some obvious deformity. Too. Okay, I'm going to feel the rest. Does everything feel okay? Correct. Okay, how about this one? I do feel the deformity over here too. Yes. Okay, feel here. Yeah, intact. Okay, I'm going to check for pedal pulses. Very weak. Okay, 
Um, I'm going to note the deformity to the legs. I'm not going to check the genital area at this time. I'm going to go back up to the arms. I'm going to feel this arm. Everything feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this arm? Unremarkable. Okay. Um, I've gone through the body. I've checked the back, the posterior before when I put them onto a backboard. At this point, I'm going to get vital signs. Can you tell me his vital signs? Uh, your patient's blood pressure is 98 over 54. Okay. How about respirations and pulse? Respirations are being controlled with your bag valve mask. Um, your heart rate is still at about 118. Okay, he is still in shock. I'm going to keep treating him with what I'm doing. My secondary injuries, I have bottle signs, um, or sorry, the raccoon eyes, which I'm just going to note. I have a C color on to stabilize, help stabilize the neck and back. I do have the flail, uh, the bulky dressing over the flail chest. Um, I do note the crevitus in both femurs, and that's going to be stabilized by the backboard that he's on. The backboard acts as a full body splint. Um, at this time, I'm going to reassess our patient every five minutes and watch his blood pressure very carefully since he is in shock and keep heading to the hospital, and I am done with the station. Thank you.